The future plan is to be a housewife. His job is like outside the home and my job is the home. Matter of fact, I am in a long-term relationship as well. I've been with my boyfriend for a year now. I then date intentionally as well. Build something together, not this mentality of making money. I am independent and powerful and I don't need a man and this stuff. You wouldn't have such girlfriend in your relationship. It's so toxic. If I have an interest on you, how much I have to earn to be able to fit in your criteria? I'm sorry guys, but women have more options and it's a natural selection. We are looking for 10 partners guys, trying to settle with one who is the best. If a man on a first date, not asking you out for uh, dinner, but asking you out for walking in a park or whatever, would you be okay with that? I cannot go to McDonald's simply because I've never eaten that in my life and I do not intend to start because of a guy. Well, first of all, I don't I spent one week texting to a girl before dating. How are you, darling? Fine. What about you? No, fuck you. You are going out. Who has to pay the bill? First date, I want the man to want to pay for me and want to chase me. So that's the kind of energy I want in a relationship. In the society or a relationship, we have to be providers. No, you are wrong. Let I me know. tell you, you are wrong. Why? Yo, yeah, well, hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today we have completely different topic and different video style which you have not used to it. But let's go to see what is this video about. For sure you will like. And also before starting video, don't forget hit the like and subscribe button. We are going to start the video. Let's go. Okay, we have to discuss today about modern society and also traditional lifestyle. Who is the right wing? Who is the left wing? First thing first, we have to introduce our guest to you. Go ahead, please. Okay, hello. My name is Roman. I'm from Spain and here in Malta since two years ago. And well, thank you for inviting me to this table chat. What do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead with that. What did you do? Uh, I work at a gaming for Spanish customers. We, we work in Spanish. And yes, I am here since two years ago. Also, I have a side hustling, creating mm -hmm. content on TikTok. It's not the OF page. You don't have it. Not yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's it. That's it. How about you? What did you do for a living and introduce yourself also? Hello, my name is Cristiana. I am Romanian, been living in Malta for seven years now and counting. Um, I work in iGaming as well. I do AML and responsible gambling. I'm very passionate about psychology and also on the side I stream video games though. No OF plug or anything <laughs> like that either. I, I told you we have to find someone into OF. Okay, you go ahead please. Yeah. My name is Julie. I am 22 years old and I'm actually from Denmark. And I've been living in Malta for around two months now. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Newbie. That's yeah. great. And let me tell you, the previous video you have seen her and she was saying about I want to be a traditional wife. And the idea came to my mind that, okay, that's something strange today's society and not many people prefer to be in that life. But there are some people like you, they prefer. And why we brought a guy to join us for this debate? Because it's important to see her perspectives about a traditional life and traditional wife which on the opposite side what do you want to say we will go ahead from there and also from the man's perspective which one today's society men prefer so basically like what do you prefer about the today's society and what do you want to do in the future so right now i work in in iGaming and but the the future plan is to be a housewife or at least to stay at home with the children while my soon to be husband he works yeah that's the long plan okay he he has to work for you for the family and you have to make like the be busy with your family and upbringing of your children that's the idea you want to be yeah so i see like his job is like outside the the home and my job is the home if that makes sense his it role does. is to provide yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah and my role is to cook clean be ready whatever and then yeah that's great and you are 22 yeah. you how come you came with this idea with that mindset is that from your parents also how you grow up or how not not like it's not from my uh, family i think actually when i was really really young i started to think and dream about children mm -hmm. And I saw uh, families around me, my parents, whatever, that 
the lifestyle they had, I didn't actually want that for my children. And I won't, don't want the stressful everyday life when you rush home, like smash something in the pan, mm. cook, and then maybe do some homework with the children for half an hour and then go to bed. Like, I don't feel like that's the best thing for children to do. So that's what I thought about, okay. I'm still young, like I'm not going to have children yet, but I'm working there. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You, you agree with this kind of life, so how, how did you grow up? It's the same? Um, so, similar to Julie, I also don't mm. come from the um, most stable family in terms of psychological safety mm -hmm. for children, I would say. Uh, I do have a brother as well, and both of my parents have been working, and still sometimes they fail to make ends meet. Oftentimes, mm. you know, we, we would be on a very limited budget for certain things such as activities and despite both of my parents being committed to the family mm. they did not give us an I ideal childhood and consequently both me and my brother had to start working in our teenage mm. uh, i've been working since i was 15 years old mm. um, that's legal age in a lot of countries if you're when you are giving that disclaimer <laughs> how was it important Okay. Yeah, because in some countries it's not legal mm -hmm. to send children under the age of 18 to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in some countries, with the consent of your parents, you can go and work as well. Mm -hmm. So I consider that, unfortunately, this is nobody at fault, specifically like you and I or her mm -hmm. as an individual making this contribution to the society. But the area in which we live, unfortunately, it's insufficient if only one person is financially providing for the family, for the mm. family to thrive and be happy and have all the basic necessities covered. You don't want to be a traditional wife and uh, how about like your future goal and also how do you see in the future? I'm not exactly sure if I ever want to have children. Could be also from the fact I do consider that having children is a decision that needs to be well thought through. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be something that happens or that mm. it's done simply with just anyone. Um, because we are seeing in a society today mm. that a lot of people rush into it without mm. too much thought. Mm. Then they later have regrets, but a child is not a product that you buy in a supermarket and mm. if you're unhappy, you just return it, right? Mm. It's a decision that you have to suffer with for the rest of your life if it's a wrong choice. Uh, let me understand, you don't want to have your own children. I'm you not just, sure yet. You're not sure yet. Yes. But in terms of your current decision, how you see yourself in the future, you have some plan, you have some opinion that which way you want to choose, traditional wife or a woman who works for family income to make more money or to support the family income, which one you prefer? So definitely I aspire in the future one day when I'm married, whether I have children or not, to have two working spouses in the family that contribute financially to the household. But in terms of their perspective, which one you prefer? Let's say that you have two choices to pick up for your future wife, for girlfriend. Which idea is coming to you closer? For girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> let's say for wife also. <laughs> 100%. Why, why her? <laughs> By the way, she is in a relationship and you have a fancy, yeah? I have fiancé. Okay, that's good. But let's say the idea what you are describing not exactly you he's not proposing to you no. okay <laughs> he doesn't have confess <laughs> no also i have many questions for her like, ah. you want to be a traditional wife no like uh, stay at home take yeah. care of the children and this, i mean this. right now yeah but i would also imagine myself going a bit crazy i would think being home all day so if the like if an idea comes up or if I could like help my husband like part time or whatever start a high side hustle, I would also do that. Mm -hmm. But it depends on what works for the family and for the home. But yeah, stay at home most of the time, more than my husband would. I, I would interrupt you, okay. but when I asked the question, first you said that her, <laughs> I prefer her. Mm -hmm. Why? The first thing first came to your mind that I prefer this this right side, why? Bueno, first of all, you asked about girlfriend, like something serious. More serious, I yeah. would say wife. Yes, wife. Uh -huh. uh, well, not her, like <laughs> a girl that has this mentality of have a, fa a family and take care of the children and so on. Or she can have also a, he can job, can have a job, yeah. 
but this mentality of build something together, not this mentality of making money, I am independent and powerful and I don't need a man and this stuff is not in my mind. Do you say like that, I, I don't need a man, I can make my own way or how? I, I am making actively my own way and uh -huh. um, like I said in the beginning, I'm a psychologist as well. So I deeply think about the power dynamics of a relationship. Uh, matter of fact, I am in a long-term relationship as well. I've been with my boyfriend for a year now and uh, I then date intentionally as well. I do not participate in hookup culture and I date to settle. I don't date simply for companionship. Um, so with that being said, even the partner that I have currently, I chose him based on the values that he brings to the table mm -hmm. in terms of who he is as a person. He's very calm. I feel like he completes me. Uh, mm -hmm. I am more of an explosive person. I'm very passionate and he's, I'm fire and he's water. So that being said, I do not consider that I don't need a man. Okay. I don't need him in terms of survival, dependency on him or many other things. I'm good on my own, but when I'm with him, I feel like he completes me oh. and we complete each other mutually. Right. But matter of fact, I do not consider that if things are to not work out between me and him or me and any other man that I would have to depend on him. I think I can make my own living. Oh. How come you are relating to this kind of relationship? Is it something you would agree to have in the future, the similar relationship or no? Ask again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just one question for him because okay. he's slowly. So how, how would he describe that kind of relationship? Yeah. Is it close to your mentality or no? Uh, no. no. So, uh, yes, but no. You wouldn't have such girlfriend in your relationship. Uh, yes. Yes, and it's so toxic. O sea, toxic? No, not toxic because of you. Toxic because the vibes. I mean. Uh, I, I think sometimes um, the people that seem like I can stay with these people, that this person that compliments me, maybe it's not the people that you really feel attracted by instinct, inst instinct, instinct. instinct. Yeah. like maybe you are okay with this guy, but maybe your instincts say you can feel attracted to another kind of guy. Okay. Sometimes, that is my... I am, just a disclaimer, I am also attracted to this person physically. Clearly, you know, being physically attracted to somebody is the predisposition, like pre-existing condition for you to have a relationship of romantic kind with somebody, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be intimate with your partner mm. if you were not attracted to them. But in terms of the partner that I'm trying to choose on the long term, especially because no, none of us at this table and anyone is going to stay beautiful and physically attractive forever. So I consider what person brings inside, the values that they have are more important than how they look mm -hmm. on the outside. Well, I, I will ask another thing. So uh, this is like I ask for many people also. If you are in a relationship for a long term and you are married and your partner, your husband makes less money than you or maybe he doesn't want to work, you have to take care of him. Is that okay for you or no? Uh, my current boyfriend and I have also been through a situation where he lost his job. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was not his decision, but it's circumstances and life happens. We cannot control everything. So for two months, he was not working. I was the only person working in the family, in the family, because me, my boyfriend and my cat at the moment are a family, mm -hmm. only one that I have here. Um, I did not have an issue with that. And as soon as he recovered, he was back to being himself in his full glory okay you knew that this is a temporary situation and the hurt that you are passing through but from your opinion as you say that I'm into for traditional wife and you find someone first of all you prefer to be in the let's say the position or the process you have to make your husband to be financially stable to take care of a family or you want to find someone is already uh, in a that's stage which like he can afford for uh, paying all the expenses and covering up even he doesn't need you to work so he can take care of the family situation but which one you prefer to be in the process or to find someone already stable yeah. financially so i feel like it's a bit too easy to just choose someone who's already there at the end goal mm -hmm. i feel like it's too easy to just be like I'm going to find a husband, rich husband, who can provide whatever, whatever. Because I feel like it's giving me more to find someone that I can build everything up with. 
So my fiance is right, right now, he's not earning that much money so that he can provide for both of us right now, but soon he will. And I had also at one point for like around a year provided for our household because he wanted to build up his company. So I want to build it up with him. So that's, it's rather a teamwork than me just finding someone to put in that role, if that makes sense. Yeah, but imagine that, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Imagine that you find two guys, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> One guy. No, 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 she had two choices, not found two guys or... Yeah, you yeah. have two choices, yeah. no? Yeah, yeah. One guy is the son of the CEO of, uh, yeah. yo que sé, Airbus, or a big yeah. company, yeah. no? Yeah. It's the son. Yeah. And the other guy is working in a fast food company, yeah. but he's working hard to try to improve his life. Yeah. Which so, one? Um, I would look at the motivation first. I would look at, because the CEO, if he just has like a, completely boring, stable, uh, everyday life and it's not anything excited about that, I would rather choose the one working at McDonald's, for example. But I would also have to know and to like have, have it proven by him that he can like be successful in that side hustle he makes or whatever he makes. I want, don't want him to be like, I work so hard, I work so hard, yeah, but now it's been three years and we don't see anything else now. If I can also add yeah. to your, uh, to the perspective of that yeah. son of the CEO, just because yeah. somebody... Yeah. Son of a CEO. <laughs> son of a CEO. <laughs> so, yeah. Just because he has been born into wealth yeah. does not mean that he has any of the qualifications of his father or that he has exactly. the same drive or that he has, has the same the values. values. Yes, exactly. exactly. To become yeah. what his dad is. Yeah. He can be born yeah. into wealth and do nothing with it. Yeah. He can be born into wealth and one day his father dies, lose yeah. his whole company, gamble it, drink it. Okay, yeah. let me say one thing. If I have an interest on you, let's say that, and you are single, yeah. um, you are also still the same mindset, you are yeah. thinking about a housewife and traditional yeah. wife. How much I have to earn to be able to fit in your criteria? First of all, you don't know me much. Yeah. I don't have any numbers in my head. But today's society, but like, you live in my... It, dep it depends. Do I want to live in a luxury penthouse in Do somewhere you else? Want? No, not really. Okay. And s still, like, the guy is making, again, like, uh, working in McDonald's, and their pay is not that high, just for the bare minimum they are doing. But how come you will still be into the housewife idea and you will say that if you are my boyfriend if you are my husband you have to bear with this because i don't want to work i, I want to bring up yeah. the children to take care of the family and to educate them but you as a man you have to support financially for us and emotionally maybe part-time yeah. yeah. how come but i want, don't want to dream right now i don't want to be a housewife right now like right now i'm like looking forward to it and we are building up, up together and we are working on it. Like right now I'm still paying my bills on my own, I'm still earning my money. I'm no, 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 I, I know for well, right I, now it's I, like you, that. You to ask a question. Uh, the, the, my question <laughs> yeah. is right now. Yeah. I feel like what she's trying to say is that she would like to have that choice. Yeah. So one day when they have built a significant wealth that mm. the guy is financially stable enough, she would like to have the possibility exactly. to choose. Yeah. But, but if she does yeah. not have the possibility, she is happy to settle for also providing financially, but that's not her dream life. Exactly. It's something she'd rather settle for. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, from your perspective, right now you have a boyfriend and mm -hmm. he's supporting your ideas. But after getting married, let's say that couple of years, his mindset completely changed and he's making more money. He doesn't need you to work and also he doesn't want you to work. Mm -hmm. What would be your reaction in that situation? Because you came with this guy for a couple of years and with the same mindset. But as soon as he hit the millionaire status, and then he changed. He doesn't want you to work. He wants you to stay at home. What would you do? It's a very challenging question, you know, uh, because I do aspire to be somebody who is independent in terms of, let's ask, why does a person want to be independent, first of all, right? Because nobody likes to feel controlled. And an element in many marriages... No, not, not, not nobody, but she wants. She wants to be under control. She wants to take... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, take care of her children, the man. Yeah. My bad. Okay. <laughs> My bad. So, yeah. there is people who have an issue with being 
having certain limitations and being controlled because you're not the provider of the family. So your possibilities of leaving that marriage if something happens are also more limited than if you already had an exit or a backup plan, right? Mm -hmm. um, we are seeing statistically a lot of women who are the victims of domestic violence. When mm -hmm. we ask them, why didn't you leave? Where is she gonna leave? Mm -hmm. She has a child, she has no money to live anywhere. Maybe by a certain point her parents has, have already died and she has nowhere to go to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would always like to know that I have a backup plan, something mm -hmm. to fall on, and things don't work out between us. I'd like to keep that independence and power to have a choice. Just like she said that she would like to have a choice to choose that lifestyle. Mm, mm, I'd also like to have a choice to opt out of that lifestyle. Mm. So maybe I would be okay with being a stay-at-home wife for a very short period of time, but I can certainly not feel fulfilled enough if my responsibilities are solely to take care of my husband and of the house. Mm. I don't find that fulfilling and I don't fulfilling and I don't feel like that is giving me a purpose in life. But the thing is, sometimes um, there is a Spanish girl create, that creates content about, uh, well, I think it's marketing, but... Why are you are promoting that girl in my video? No, it's important. <laughs> this is important. This is socio social, social, sociology. This girl makes videos about cooking. No, She says, like, oh, I am yeah. here in my house. Pablo is coming with to, uh, home with, with his friends and I will cook uh, mm -hmm. something to him. Okay. And all the people, mainly feminists, modern feminists, modern because, bueno, modern feminists. Yeah. Traditional feminism. Extremist feminists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Not, Not feminists. Feminist. I feel like feminists and fanatic feminists exactly. are really different. Which one you are? I'm a feminist. You are feminist. I believe in that women have a choice. Yeah. yeah. And that we, I don't feel like we have, we need to have the same rights, but I need, feel like we have, need to have the same opportunities. Okay. Like. Women have choice and their rights, and this is my right to be a traditional wife, etc. Yeah. And I feel like the extreme feminists are like, fuck men. No, I, <laughs> a, yes, like, I agree but with her. Yeah, really? yeah, 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 traditional <laughs> feminism is about we want to have same rights, and yeah, yeah, let's yeah. not forget that it's been less than a hundred years that women have gotten all the same rights that men have had for centuries, like having your own bank account, owning a business, getting a house mm. loan on yourself. That has been only certain things have taken occurrence in the past 50 years to 100 years, right? So women didn't have this right. And being a feminist, it's about demanding same rights that the men have had for centuries. Mm -hmm. And extreme feminist is like, fuck men, men are useless yeah, yeah, and yeah. nobody needs men. No. We need to be better than men, kind exactly. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no better than anyone. It's about equality. That's what feminism is about. Social media is portraying the narrative mm -hmm. of extreme mm -hmm. feminism mm -hmm. as they're all men haters. Whereas traditional feminism is about female rights and equality. It's not yeah, about yeah, yeah. superiority of neither of the genders. Which one you I prefer? I think they have like any kind of issue, like they, daddy issues or whatever, because it's not normal. O sea, they are talking very, uh, coming back to the girl of cooking, yes. all the people were, all the feminists saying, you are a slave in the comments. Yeah. Slave, slave. And what's what the fuck? This girl decided to, yeah, to do this content. Yeah, she had content, a choice so and it shows. She has the to choice. Cook. Yeah, exactly. Is that okay for you, like the girl always uh, thinking that I have to cook for my husband, I have to cook for my husband's friends, this is my duty to serve my husband, like in the past how it was like your husband is your king. And if you are living in a kingdom, if you want to live in a kingdom, you have to bear with the king's decision yes, yes yes but from your point like is that okay for you these days women to think like that we cannot speak for whatever reason these women are personally feeling triggered and calling that other woman a slave because they're ultimately just projecting their insecurities mm. onto that woman uh, and again we do not know was this her choice or mm. is she made because she has no choice to cook for her husband mm. ideally in an ut utopian world we would like to believe that that is her choice and that's what I support um, that is why I support women having less traditional roles so that they can choose also simply for the fact that I portray a woman to be strong, powerful and having their own money doesn't mean that if one day a woman like that decides by her own choice that she has a husband who can provide for her and she decides to cook for him. If she wants to do that as long as it's her choice, I have nothing against it and I don't think she's a slave. Mm. I think it's simply her um, way of supporting her family. Mm. If her husband is only providing financially, 
then her role would traditionally be to provide food, to provide stability and emotional labor to her husband and house, household labor, right? This is what is expected of her. So as long as that's what she chooses for herself, I have nothing against it and I don't think she's a slave. I thought she was calling slave to the woman that do, that do this, but if you say that is It should be a choice. choice. Mm. It's, it's if it okay. is a choice, she prefers to be like that, it's okay, but if she's forced to do it, it's wrong? Yes. But if you sign that agreement for marriage agreement and in a good way or a bad way, I'm always with you, I'm supporting you, and then all of a sudden guy is changed and he wants you to cook, to take care of a family. Do not work, don't go out. Well, clearly there is so many things wrong with that. Like you said, we are getting married, not you and I, but you get the concept. Mm. We are getting married and we are saying in good and bad, you know, but now let's determine what's bad, you know. These are the things that need to be discussed before okay. the marriage. Does it bad reflect only on me? Because you have the freedom to go out. You are also, as somebody who is the only person working in the family, you have a greater social network. Whereas I'm always staying at home, maybe I don't have as many friends, I don't have as many mm. opportunities like you. So if things are going terribly bad to the point that I'm losing myself in that marriage, I have limited options to exit it, right? So I would not like the agreement where I'm the party suffering okay. greater damage. I agree. But uh, I will touch your topic also. That you say that, for example, 10-15 uh, years you are into traditional wife ideology and you don't work you stay at home always but god forbid after 15 years something changed and you get divorced so you have to take care of yourself and your kids and you don't have work experience because from um, let's say in the age of 23 and you got married and since then you, you never worked so you don't have work experience you don't have some hard skills to make money by yourself because 15 years on that age you will be 35 or let's say 40 how you will manage your life and because you cannot put on your cv that uh, 15 years i have <laughs> traditional <laughs> wife and house housewife experience so yeah. what we will you do going to the court <laughs> <laughs> Sue your husband, <laughs> get some money as much as possible. So it's a really, really good question. And it, it is like also about what you said, having not like a completely backup plan, but having kind of a plan B or a backup plan. So the thing is when me and my fiance get married or into a relationship just before we get children, I want also to be sure that a percentage of that money goes into whatever investments, pension, whatever for me. Mm -hmm. So I can also get something out of it. So that if we maybe break up at some time, some point get a divorce, I'm not there like... Homeless. Fuck. Yeah. I want to ask you, you as a man, what is your role in a society or in a relationship? In the society or a relationship, we have to be providers. O sea, if you look back in the time, you can see all the everything, o sea, the buildings, the infrastructure, everything was made by man. So that is the reason we have to be providers and hardworking and stuff. Because it's important if, if, if you have a family and the woman is taking care of the children, maybe she can have a side hustling or whatever, but we need to prepare everything to, to her to be in a safe area area uh, okay as you say that i'm a providing and my role in a society also in a relationship i have to be in the situation to provide but the first date when you find someone you see that potentially maybe i will get her to be my girlfriend and would you pay the bills for the first date or no would you cover the dinner or you are going out with yeah, her for okay. the first date yeah, you have okay. to pay I don't know if you have to pay. I paid anyways. Okay, you paid. I pay. Okay, you pay. I paid. I paid. You still anyways. pay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I pay anyways. Is it uh, is it because uh, this is your duty to pay and the woman should not pay anything and if you are it's together or why? No, it's not like okay, woman, don't pay. I <laughs> no, it's like because it's on me. I say like, okay, that's wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't expect anything, you know, it's like, what? it's my, my thing, I have to do this and mm -hmm. let's do this. How about you? If a guy 
on a first date he doesn't want to pay he wants to split the bill or he wants you to pay it's not because he forgot the wallet at home or in the car or something but he doesn't show that intention he wants to pay you have to pay what will be your reaction and your thought about that guy potentially you are thinking that he will be your boyfriend or husband no he would not be my boyfriend to begin with why <laughs> i am going to explain okay um i would pay i have no issues paying again like i said i can't afford to pay right that's why i'm on a date in the first place i wouldn't feel entitled mm -hmm. because there's different people and different mindsets right so the guy might think that i don't feel entitled to him paying on the first date and he will expect that we split I would accept whatever like his opinion is, but when I'm going on a first date with somebody, I'm there to get to know them. I also have no expectations, so I, I cannot know like I'm going with you very first time and I have the intention of dating you. That's why we are there on that date, to decide that can we go further, can we not? So if the last words that are coming out of your mouth when I'm seeing you at the end of that date are like, let's split the bill or can you cover it? I will, but I'm not seeing the guy again. It's simply the principle here is not being entitled to the guy's money, but it's about the first impression. And my first impression is that he's not trying to impress me and that he's not generous. He's not trying to impress you by paying? Yes, it's a, it's a courtesy from men's side because okay. women spend a lot of time getting ready for a date, majority, mm. and they have already invested money in their makeup, hair, nails, whatever they so the guy also invested money bought a car for coming to the date he didn't buy the car to come to that specific date he already owns the car you didn't buy the makeup the petrol. yeah, yeah, yeah we did too. We did too. also yeah. he's he's investing time that can use for another thing we like, do too but the woman but can also yeah woman can go online and have at least 10 men asking her at the same time to spend time with them okay mm -hmm. so here i'm sorry to compare it with such like you have options and you are choosing the best one. You exactly. think that this is the best one, but on the first date, if he's not paying the check, what is coming to your table and his intention, you to pay it. So that is your red flag, what you want to say. But as you say that yeah. I, I made a makeup or something, you didn't buy makeup set specifically, for, specifically yes. for that person. And that guy didn't buy a car specifically just for coming to date with you. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. And why you think that? He has to pay for the first date, even though you think that I am a powerful woman and I have to be able to support financially and whatever, I shouldn't be dependent on the man. So obviously, like he did not buy that car to come specifically to that date and I didn't buy the makeup specifically for that. It's like you said, we have options and we chose it's I'm sorry, guys, but the statistic says women have more options and it's a natural selection. Mm -hmm. So she chose to give you... You've had more options, but maybe uh, are not the kind of man that you are looking no, for. No, you are wrong. Let I me tell know. you, okay. you are wrong. Why? Be because the global population and before like uh, this kind of gender imbalance or whatever, okay. like a 70, 90 genders at the moment. <laughs> and uh, before that, it was like a woman dominating in the global population like there are this balance like well, women that is more why than in men some countries you know like no, no, let's no, no. take population Globally. of russia yeah. population of russia if i'm not mistaken i don't know the statistics exactly there is one man and for every man there is five women uh -huh. right let's so see. all all the women are looking for that one best man we are we are not looking for 10 partners guys okay. we are looking for one and we are looking for the best you are not trying mm. to settle okay. with five potentials you're trying to settle with one who is the best okay so mm. for me the one that is the best is also the guy that is generous and that is simply his contribution to the trying to impress me he's trying to impress me with the fact that he's generous and he's showing appreciation for my presence. Only the first date he has to pay, but the second, the third one, yes, or you can split or you can even pay, yes? Yes, we can split or if the need be, extreme circumstances, forgot the wallet, his phone died, whatever. Okay. Or Next simply pieces. it's, no, or simply, for example, I come from a Balkan household, mm -hmm. right? And in the Balkans, we do this even with our friends. Um, if any of you doesn't have money at the moment, but I have invited you all, that I am not going to tell you stay at home and don't come because you don't have your own money. I'll pay for all of us. Yeah. Then mm. the next time somebody else can cover the bill if I am less fortunate and I cannot afford it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is just my culture and Got this it. is how we Got do it. it. This is a cultural thing. So your point, who is, who is asking out, who is inviting, that person should pay. If a man or let's say if a woman asking out, okay, I have a plan, I want we to go out, so she has to pay. 
Mm, I'm still um, a little bit indecisive. I understood her point and the mm -hmm. question, but I think a woman should give men signs that she likes him, but not necessarily invite him, if that makes sense. Um, I think you can initiate starting conversations with him and hopefully he will get the hint. I'm not the biggest advocate for the lady going to, listen, I like you, we should go out. This is from a biological point of view. I'm not going to go into details. I simply think that... Go to the details. I think this is that in a parallel woman, board. I think that the woman should attract and the man is the one who should chase. Mm. It's simply yeah. the balance between masculine and feminine mm, energy mm, mm, mm. because... This is discrimination, bro. No. It is not discrimination. <laughs> it's discrimination. It's discrimination. Okay, I got your point. I got your point. Uh, if a man on a first date, not asking you out for uh, dinner, but asking you out for walking in a park or whatever, would you be okay with that? Or specifically, he has to pay we go to the restaurant, we have to eat something. Bro, if you want to get my number or get my heart or the, to make a way to get my heart, you have to pay for this restaurant. Bloody restaurant, like a hundred bucks for fish and chips or whatever. Hundred, wow. Which restaurants do you go to? <laughs> um, Depends, I know. So if he's asking you for a walk. Would you go? That is no? okay, as long as it's not in some weird setup, like he's asking me to meet him in the middle of the night in a park, which also presents a safety risk for the woman. No, 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 forget <laughs> about it, forget about it. Just for going a, a seaside or walking. I think that is okay, mm -hmm. but if the concept is um, this, this person has known me for a little while, so we are already more accustomed to each other, and I get to spend time with this person, and I already know that if we do end up dating this person, has the desire to impress me in some way. Okay, and you are also a little bit like a traditional wife idea. The man should pay the bill and man should impress uh, by showing the gesture or this kind of but things. Don't get me wrong, you know, this is not a... This is a the traditional... The cultural thing is different, yeah. No, 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 this is the traditional view on it. Like he said, the, all the buildings that you see, the most beautiful, Hagia Sophia, uh, all the buildings in Greek temples, they have been built by men to impress women. Mm. So no, bueno, uh, a ver, yes. <laughs> no, men no for living. There are sims, but there are no <laughs> important buildings or do important... You know the, do you know why the, um, sí, el the Greek y todo eso. War of 10 years, the Spartan War was 10 years because of Helen of Troia. Yeah. So a whole war was because of a woman. Because, he because, Paris, yes. because Paris stole sí. Menelay's wife. Yeah. Your point of view as a traditional wifey idea, yeah. And what that situation be if you are going out in a first or second or after hundred states? Who has to pay the bills? So if we theoretically said I was single right now, because yeah. I feel like that's the first date. Yeah, I'm single right now. First date, I would want the man to pay. But it's not about me going and exploiting the man and eating for free and just leaving. But mm -hmm. it's the value and the signals he sends me about him paying and not about pe me even asking about should I no put the hat on the table like the so, like way to come to take a lead build. yeah exactly okay. and so I want the values with that and of and course it's also because you chose yeah. to go out with this specific exactly. man exactly you also and I want. know like Sorry. it's not to be selfish but I know I have choices and he knows that too and it's choices like choices of what men Okay. Values. Be specific. Yeah, 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 be specific. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, so I feel like also about the masculine, and the feminine energies that like I attract. He chases. I'm soft. I'm feminine. I am like high value woman, and I want the man to want to pay for me mm -hmm. and want to chase me. So that's the kind of energy I want in a relationship. Okay. You are also soft. Uh, I, t I tend to be most of the time, yes. <laughs> I do have uh, moments where my masculine energy dominates in me and I mm -hmm. take the lead in certain things. That is why, personally, I'm an overachiever. You know, I just finish one thing and I'm immediately thinking what's the next best thing. Let me, let me ask this thing. If you are interested in one girl mm -hmm. and still you don't know about her, more because this is your first week you are talking with her but all of a sudden you want to invite her out for uh, dinner mm -hmm. still your intention to pay the bill okay to pay that dinner but 
instead you have in your mind that I'm going to this restaurant because for the first time dating this restaurant is in my budget because I don't know in the future I will continue I will commit with this girl or no that's why I'm choosing uh, hundred bucks for tonight I want to go for this one but the girl is asking you that I know one place maybe we have to go there let's go there and just to impress her and her intention is also to be impressed she's asking you to go somewhere which is 350 it's over of your budget what you set is it like your completely red flag from even that message or no bueno first of all i don't spend one week texting to a girl before dating i don't spend time How in this shit spend? one day are you there venga let's go but I don't stay one week. How are you, darling? Fine. What about you? No, fuck you. No, no. Let's say that she doesn't have the day off or something. You have to wait one week, and that's why. Ah, bueno, bueno, yeah, sí. yeah, like that bueno. way. Vale. We wait a week, and then we meet, and I say to her, "Let's go to this place," and she say, "No, let's go to no, 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 no. We go to this place." Yeah, because you took the lead. Is it yeah. is it because of the taking a lead? or because this is your budget you don't want to spend more than that for that girl because you still don't know what you will do and what how you will figure it out that the girl is in your dream no. what you were thinking maybe in the future who knows but in the first day if i want to this place or if i feel we can go to a specific place i say let's go to this place and that's it guys eating is important <laughs> but more important is where you are eating from uh, your perspectives I would say where you are eating um, you agree or no it's the consideration okay is what matters because if I don't eat I personally I don't eat mm -hmm. McDonald's KFC Burger King I've been going to the gym since I'm 15 years old and I have a very strict diet so yeah, that, that's I'm sorry, understandable. yeah I cannot go to McDonald's simply because I've never eaten that in my life and I do not intend to start because of a guy got it got it and at the end I want to ask the one question do you know about a prenup yes yeah okay prenup okay we will talk and okay. you will get the idea was the how about your point of view about a prenup is it a must or you are against of a prenup Again, that's a very difficult question, and I think... We are not here for easy question, okay? <laughs> Would you swap your phone to each other or something? I think that's especially important for the women that want to live a lifestyle like her. It's mm. more important than for someone like me to have a prenup, right? Because I have already predetermined that throughout our marriage, relationship, whatever, I will maintain my own independency and my money will not be touched by you as my husband or boyfriend or whatever once we split. But I feel it's very important for the woman that wants to bring traditional values to the table and have no financial backup mm. in case things go south. She needs to have something to be secured. And after all, we need to put a sign of equality. Like this man has provided her whole life for her, right? But she has also sacrificed a lot of things. She has sacrificed mm. her body, her mental health, um, her social life maybe, to be a stay-at-home wife and focus specifically on this man and build a house for them. So that was the value that she invested and for that mm. she should be compensated. Okay. You about the prenup? Yeah. So I a hundred percent agree with what she says. Like a hundred percent. Okay. But if a guy specifically emphasizing it that we have to have prenup, what would be your thought about it? It depends on what he wants in that prenup. Because, if it's because listen, I have my company. You're not gonna get any of it if we uh, divorce, and you're not. I don't want that. But if if he's like mindful about me sacrificing a lot like not being able to work and earn the money or having a plan b and he wants to what's it called me to be safe mm -hmm. if we get divorced and that's what his point of view is i would be happy to do it uh interest interestingly traditional or housewives uh, do they need a prenup or w what they will contribute like is Obviously it a thing they're, they're contributed with their emotional labor okay. and they're carrying most of the household labor yeah. and child uh, yeah, care yeah, is yeah. not an easy thing to do you know if yeah. he would have to 
um, if we look at the things that majority of women do in relationships and marriages, you know, the woman is the care of the house, care for her men, she cooks, she cleans, she takes the kids to school, she brings them back, all of their hobbies, does yeah. homework. If you would have to hire people to do all of her job, you would go bankrupt yeah. within a month mm. of hiring the services that that woman brings to the wow. table. Mm, mm, mm. So, it, it, in that case, if you are doing these kind of things voluntarily or you are just doing it because you are a wife of your husband so you have to ask money also for doing it i'm not saying that i would like because this is the terms of our agreement you bring yeah. the money to the house you give me resources and i do the conversion of those resources mm -hmm. into something that we need for the house right okay but if i am to one day no longer be dependent on you i'd like to be secure to know that the sacrifice that i have made for being a wife well in her case mm. i would like to know Mm -hmm. that I'm not going to be homeless, I don't need to live oh. with my parents and I don't need to be a social service case oh, okay. where oh. the country is paying me to support my child. Mm -hmm. You got the idea what's the prenup? So this is kind si. of a financial agreement? Si. Yeah, si. Before, before the marriage, 50-50. Vale. Si. Vale, si. How about you? Do you <laughs> think it has to be? Yeah, yeah. Prenup is important or no? Or is it a must? I don't know. I think it's a must to have everything clear. Like... Um, I don't care about the finance side, like, to be honest, I prefer to say like, okay, you are not going to cheat me or whatever, you know, like, it's the, if you are, a, if you are a man that you work on yourself, you have your money, you are okay, and you are prepared to, to stay with a woman and build a family, you don't need to be care about any agreement. Mm. But you see, um, this is all nice and rosy glasses again because you are thinking of when spouses are on good terms. We are speaking now, we are getting married, so mm. we love each mm. other. Mm. We don't think about what's going to happen when we no exactly. longer love each other and we are splitting. Mm. Mm. That's why prenup is there to determine that. Like you said, I am a man that work on myself and I am building this business mm. and I am committed to leaving a legacy for the son that you are going to bring into this world or a daughter, right? But then I will ask you, and when we split, what about those things? What about the company you built? What about the child? Do I get the child? Do you get the child? Who mm. gets your company? Do I get half of it? For those things, that's why prenup is important, to determine what happens yeah. when people are no longer together and no longer loving each other. It's like that. Also, if you get married and you get divorced, I don't think it's easy for a woman to take everything. I mean, we have our... I can defend myself and say, no, no, this but is not this for is you. Why, this is why the prenup determines that. That's determining the prenup when you get married, mm. who takes what at the end of the marriage. Okay, I appreciate for you all and thank you very much for coming, joining us this debate. If you want to make one more series like this or to talk about different topics, comment below what you want on also whose point is valid for you. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Join my members only community. You will see a lot from the behind the scene videos. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.